extremely racist for a white man to try to tell black people what we are doing, where we need to go, what our issues that, are. That is part of the gated state, institutional narrative. No, Tamika, I should be, I should be a leader in the Black Lives you Matter movement because I'm more capable than you. I'm more oh, capable. Really? Right. Yes, I am. You know what? Here's what you don't understand do. the nature Here's of reality. Do. Tamika, Here's do you understand do. cooperative and, and competitive Listen, game theory? Tamika, do you understand? Please we answer this. To Tamika, do you Here's understand the difference do. between competitive and cooperative game theory? Do. do you I'm understand the difference? Up. Do you understand I'm what's needed up. for us to cooperate with each other and to increase the value of the group for all human beings? We have to be transparent. We have to be interdependent. Interconnectivity. Here's what I'm going to do. Okay, so the separatist finished, ideology finished, is the problem. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's the what I'm going to do. The fear-based pandering is part of the problem, Tamika. It's so it's extremely racist for a white man. Problem, Tamika. It's so time that finish, all humans so when unify. You finish, when Tamika, you finish, Tamika, me and you are the exact same, same thing. That crack, we need to get crack dealers off the street. Of You're course, and meth that, dealers. That there's a problem with us. So what is that? That's and meth crazy. dealers. Listen. Here's and meth dealers, all hard Here's drugs, heroin, everything. Here's what we're going to do, Mr. All Houston. negative externalities must be eliminated. The people that you do business with to make a decision about whether or not what you're saying and the propaganda and the lies that you're spreading is something that they should continue to support. So what I promise you is that you will have to deal with me for the rest of your life because anybody you do business with, I'm going to show up to make sure that they know that you are a racist and that your rhetoric and the tone that you're using is extremely dangerous and that you disrespected the life of a young 26-year-old Never. woman. Never. I will not accept that. That's nothing and it shows your colors. Of, you don't of, give a of, about decreasing the problem, Tamika. It's so time that all you... Different album on right. at different times. That's what, that's what I'm saying. You might have pressed it at a certain point, so it just will pick up for what it was last time. Can y'all see me? It's dark. What's up, people? Hi, y'all. Look, it's a bunch of folks on here already. Uh, so I just um, wanted to go live real quick to talk about the situation um, with with this guy, J.W. Lucas. I saw a lot of people making different types of comments about why I was even engaging with this guy. Um, and I need some help from you all so that I can verify what I think, what I know or what I've been told. So I was on uh, Ball Alert today. People, somebody tagged me to a post on Ball Alert um, of someone who, at first, I didn't read the caption. I read the tweet that was the photo um, post. And the it said, um, why are people uh, fighting for or going crazy over, um, you know, you guys could go check it yourself for the exact words, but this is the sentiments of it for uh, Breonna Taylor, you know she shouldn't have died, but she was uh, involved with several drug dealers who, um, who, who were using her house, I think, as a trap house. And when you're involved in that type of life, there are consequences. Okay, so first of all, that is a lie, okay? Number one, Breonna Taylor had a boyfriend from three years ago who police say was dealing drugs. Okay. I don't know where or why with black people association gets us killed because there's a lot of people that associate with a whole lot of folks and the police are not running up in to your house with no knock warrants shooting them down. If you really want to keep it a buck, okay, it's a lot of folks that's running around here with the major drug dealers, the ones that's selling the, the pharmaceutical drugs and all types of other drugs that's killing our people, and yet police are not showing up at their homes, breaking down doors, and shooting people in their, in their, while they just woke up out of their sleep. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, the narrative around this 
number of drug dealers or several drug dealers is extremely problematic because there is absolutely no evidence of that. Anyone who has said that she was involved with several drug dealers, who, whoever may have said that, wherever that may have been, they need to prove it. Before anyone, you have to roll that window up, before anyone repeats it as fact, okay? So when I'm reading it, I'm like, okay. And then I go down and you know, people say racist shit and, and lies and you know, and, and spew a bunch of right wing talking points all the time about many of the victims and families that we support and even about me personally. So who cares, right? Like I, I'm with y'all. Why would we spend time even talking to this guy about him or anything else? Until I read that he is a producer who has worked with uh, 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 the baby and a bunch of other people who are actually big black artists. So my issue is now you have gone from a lion racist to a lion racist who makes money off of black culture and that can't happen. That can't happen. So everybody in their mama needs to know that you, because you know, people don't know. I work with people all the time. I don't really know you. I don't know anything personal about you. I know many artists that, I, you know, I, I work with a lot of different artists that also work with producers. They work with, with writers. They work with people. They don't know anything about these people personally, nothing. So when you, you see a producer in the studio who's there, I don't know that the person is a racist, but when you, reveal to us who you are now we have a responsibility to make sure that everybody else knows number one and number two that your ass is unable to make money off of our people and to be accepted in our culture when you're out here lying about our issues so that's why I didn't just waste my time today talking to yet another white person who thinks that they can insert themselves in black people's business. Get, if you don't have anything that is positive, helpful, supportive to say, then shut the fuck up. Because we don't need you. And if in fact, for some reason, you know, he was, uh, if, 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 Breonna Taylor was, you can park in the park in the thing. If, if Breonna Taylor was uh, uh, associated with many drug dealers and there was issues happening in and out of her home. And as he said later on in another live that she was getting packs to her house all the time. This motherfucker is talking about an essential worker, a 26 year old young black woman who was in her house working two jobs, doing her, doing her business. She was in a relationship with Kenny Walker. Neither one of them have a criminal background. Neither one of them have ever been to jail for any reason. No drugs were found in their home. And you talk about she was running packs out of her house where did you get that information where did you get that information who told you that and so he said well i you know i got the information uh because several people have reported it and why would a judge sign a warrant and that right there lets me know because he also went on to say that he is more competent than me and he could run the black lives matter movement well if you were so competent sir and if you really knew anything sir you would know that uh, the people who actually write reports are the ones who are murdering black people. Ida B. Wells once said that those who write the reports commit the murders. Those are the motherfuckers that lie all the time on these damn reports. Why is it that uh, that 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 the the police report says there were no injuries? Right on the police report, it says there were no injuries. And yet a woman was laying on the ground in the house with eight bullets pumped into her body. So how is it no injuries for a, a person who is dead? How is that possible? 
okay? All kinds of lies. And and then and then so what really really frustrated me is that I took the time to go into his life to educate him about what he was saying. He t- he's you know he he mentions again that um that you know the judge why I don't understand why a judge would sign a warrant. Well, the reason why the judge signed the warrant is because the officer lied on the warrant to get the damn warrant. The officer lied How do we know that? Because his own superiors have put his ass on desk duty because they know he lied. He said that that there were suspicious packages going to her home and that the post office had reported that. And in fact, the postmaster has said that that was not true. The postmaster, the person who runs the post uh the post office in that area said they never reported any suspicious packages going to her home so not only did they and he and uh, this man jw lucas who has never met brianna taylor's family he has never talked to her attorneys he has never been to kentucky to stand with her family so who the hell are you to make statements conclusive statements about something that you know not you know nothing about it you are speaking based upon what you heard from lying racist ass news sources that have been lying on our people since the beginning of time he is extremely dangerous extremely dangerous And he should not be allowed to continue to work with anybody who claims to love black people. Anybody. So that means if you white and you want to be our partner and you want to be so upset about Black Lives Matter, you want to be so into it. I'm in the movement. I stand in solidarity with you. Then you know what? If he's working on a fucking program of yours, you need to fire his ass tonight. Since you so don't don't just talk about how much you with us when racist motherfuckers pop their heads up. We're looking for you to show up at that time and put your support and your solidarity and your fist up and your protest and all the stuff that you do when you 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 make you so down with us. We want you to put it in action and tell that motherfucker. Here's the door. You can't sit in our studios. You can't profit off of our people. You can't be involved with nothing in our communities if you got the audacity to sit and spew a bunch of right wing talking points and lies about our young sister. We will fight you about Breonna Taylor. You will not get away with disrespecting Breonna Taylor. So now it's about action. He, t- he sent me a DM. Can we speak? No. There is nothing else to talk about. Since you yelled at me and said that you feel that you could do a better job and that uh, whatever other kind of nonsense he said, that's fine. Yell at me. Talk to me crazy. Do whatever you want. But there's nothing else for us to say. To say. It's about Breonna Taylor for me. That's what it's about. So, so in anybody who doesn't understand my issue... Or understand why I was even spending my time talking to this man. Time that I don't have. That is the reason. Because it has been reported that he works with very high level black artists. Making money off of our community. And he is walking around saying a whole bunch of lies about Breonna Taylor. And talking about she was running packs to her house through 14 drug dealers. Where is your evidence of that? Where's your evidence of that? Who told you that? Where did you get that from? Because guess what? Breonna Taylor's lawyers, they've yet to be able to find any type of surveillance that shows any such thing. They have none of that. Nothing has been produced. So how the hell do you go around spewing a bunch of lies that you heard from somebody that you don't know what you're talking about in an in an in in a uh, in in a in a situation that Daniel Cameron claims he's been investigating for two months and absolutely nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. And that's right. So it's a freaking spiritual fight. 
And he, J.W. Lucas, and all the rest of them, they are a part of the demons that are against our people. And we better open up our eyes. I see a bunch of people on here talking about, well, you know, a black men who are producers, they're still going to work with him. Well, guess what, y'all? That's when it comes to us. If we find out that he's still working with people who are in our communities, black people, black artists, then we got to say, are we going to continue to purchase those people's brand? They become an enemy of ours. It is time out for the bullshit. It's time out for excuses. There is a young woman who was shot to death in her house. There has been absolutely no justice for it. And we do not get to sit back and find excuses to explain away people's racist bullshit that continues to perpetuate the same violence that, that killed her will kill you. It'll kill all of us if we don't stop it in its tracks. So as soon as we see it, as soon as it rears its ugly head, this is not about us sitting around and all, you know, we just going to, we all, we, you know, all, I feel away, I feel bad, you know, I'm going to go tweet a thing, I'm going to say a thing, you know what, if an artist puts out a song, a song that this man helped produce and we know about it and somebody sounds the alarm about it, I don't give a damn if it's the best song you ever heard in your life. If it's Michael Jackson level, at the point that you find that out, then that artist also needs to feel the pain. So I'm calling on all of my followers and friends and all of these different sites, all of these people who claim to be a part of our movement, I'm calling on them. I'm calling on all of you. Everybody, everybody who's on here, tag a friend, call your favorite artist, call the other producers, call everybody and tell them that J.W. Lucas is not our guy. He's not our guy. He is over there with the people who disrespect black women, who disrespect our communities and people who are who are apologists for our murderers. That's who he is. And that's why. I have been having uh, to have this conversation today. That's why. That's what happened. So we have a responsibility. I'm giving you the information. I didn't make it up. I didn't create this. I was sitting in my house minding my business, and I happened to be tagged to something where I was brought into a situation about a woman who is extremely important to me. I take it real personal. Okay, what happened to Breonna Taylor? I've been spending my time flying back and forth, leaving my family to go stand with this young woman with a group of other people who are extremely dedicated. We spent anywhere between 15 to 24 hours in jail, okay, supporting this young woman because we know that the way in which she was killed, it was unjustified, it was illegal, and it was a part of racist culture that kills our people all the time. And so some of us have spent a lot. We are invested. And you cannot, you do not get to talk about Breonna Taylor and disrespect her name. To disrespect her black mother who's out here fighting for her child. Fighting for her child's life. A young woman laying on the floor in her house with eight bullets pumped into her body. Because somebody decided that this was a, that black people are a part of a fucking wild goose chase. Where they can just show up at our homes, kick down our damn doors and shoot us like animals. For, because you can't do good work. You can't do good police work if you knew that this particular man was a drug dealer and that there was packages that was going to her house. Why the hell wasn't you there to intercept the package? Why you don't go to the post office and get the evidence? Show us the evidence. But you ain't got no damn evidence because the young woman was an essential worker who was out here doing her damn job. She was doing her job. She was working in the middle of COVID. Doing the worst job. The worst job of having to pick people up without knowing whether they were actually uh, infected, without knowing any of that, and give them care to try to get them to help. I don't even know. I, I'm saying the wrong thing. It's not the worst job. It's the most honorable job. On the way to the doctor, on the way to the hospital, to the nurses, to be supported. That's what she was doing. That's who she was. She was in the bed sleeping with another upstanding individual. And by the way, if they were selling drugs, if they were selling drugs, if they 
you were. Fine. Okay, let's just go with your theory that they were selling drugs. You still should not be executing no-knock warrants at people's homes without knowing who the hell is inside the house, shooting through walls, shooting through closed blinds, and bullets flying into the home of a, a baby, a child that was five months old, was laying sleep in an apartment where bullets flew into her house. So you know what? Y'all are right. I'm going to waste my time on J.W. Lucas because you don't fuck with Breonna Taylor. No, sir. Uh-uh. Now, now, it's a whole lot of shit that we'll tolerate, but not this. Not this. Anybody ask you, why is Tamika even talking about this? And he's a clown. Yeah, he's a clown. You're right. He is the, he's, he, he's the leader of the circus. He's not just a clown. He's the ringleader, the circus ringleader. But the clown can't make no money off of our people so y'all go run please call somebody tag somebody tell a friend tell a flow a, a 